Let's talk about something controversial today, flexible dentures. Are these long-term solutions for your patients? Are they short-term solutions? Let's get into it. One, repairability is a nightmare. If a tooth breaks from that flexible denture, getting only that tooth repaired is going to be a bit of a challenge because your lab is going to struggle with bonding a new tooth to that flexible denture. Second, they are unhygienic. They tend to accumulate a lot of bacteria and when they are really poorly maintained, you might even see some fungus on them. They are just not very clean because of the porous nature of the material in the oral environment. They tend to not stay very clean. And the third reason why I avoid flexible dentures is it tends to actually cause a lot of pressure on the soft tissue. And you will see this. If a patient's been using a flexible denture for a couple of months, you take it out, you look underneath, the tissue always looks so red and inflamed. It seems like they're, it's seeding with a lot of pressure. Of course, these dentures don't have any vertical stop on a tooth, like a cast partial denture, and so they tend to put all of that load on the remaining tissue, on the soft tissue, and on the remaining teeth, and that's when you start to see these problems, this red inflammation, and that looks very unhealthy, and again, it may be having a component of fungus as well like a candida type of infection underneath that flexible denture. I hope I've confused you enough. This is the Dental Review Guy signing off with a smile.